What's good guys, Monster Chappie, we're back for another Man 13 gameplay. Today we have a special guest by the name of Mr. Forrest Gump. If you haven't heard of the man before, he's a Man 13 commentator. You can find his link in the description. Nonetheless, this is a $10 money game, and uh, yeah, we're trying to make it happen. We've got a new scheme we're trying out. Um, this is a pretty much a run-heavy scheme, and you know we're trying to use that effectively. Right here, 4th and 6th, we're able to convert that first down and keep the chains moving. That's what's most important. But, uh, yeah, we're trying a new scheme. Got the Steelers. He's got the 49ers. So, Mendenhall's pretty good right here. Rainey's in there. Nice spell back for a little bit more speed. And, uh, as you could tell, definitely that agility and acceleration is paying off. James Harrison with the user hit stick. Give me them cookies. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we like to start off, especially with the steel curtain on this side of the ball, man. Making it happen. Punching it in with Mendenhall. And that's what we're about, man. Running the ball, playing defense. Running the ball, playing defense. When they commit to the run, hit them over the top. That's the game plan uh, with this scheme right here. And uh, we'll see how it pays off right here. Brown, ooh, gets a nice interception. And uh, he tried to force that across the middle. That's one tip I would have for you guys is, you know, if you see a spy or if you see a yellow, and your guy's just about to cross him and you're not sure if he's really cleared his zone yet, don't make that pass because a lot of the times the guys will step over or they'll jump or, you know, they'll they'll usually jump the pass. So that's one thing you got to be careful of. Got to avoid those turnovers as much as possible because in a game like this, when you know it's going to be back and forth, uh, you definitely know you got to have as few mistakes as possible. Right here, I missed the hole with Mendenhall, but I was really expecting him to fall forward with the new infinity engine because you know i had a lineman hit that dude and still didn't get it and right here again i'm you know expecting mendenhall to be able to fall forward but the 49ers being who they are not letting it happen and not letting mendenhall fall forward so he gets a huge stop before half definitely had the opportunity for three that costed us but he tries to hit us over the top troy palu malu baby getting the user pick and uh yeah now we're in a really comfortable position again as we said we're setting up the pass and it pays off here he gone he gone <laughs> um yeah but uh don't remind me that the raiders lost yesterday i i understand that we, we don't even need to bring that back up but other than that man it was a pretty good week of football definitely some real intense games some real good games um freaking doug martin Oh my gosh, I'm not even going to talk about it. He had an amazing day, that's all that can be said. And the Raiders did not have an amazing day on the defensive side of the ball and definitely didn't have a great day, you know, as far as turnovers go. Carson Palmer throwing picks. But, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that, man. It was a good game, fun to watch, and, you know, hopefully we can win next week. Right here, we sneak a pass into the Mike Wallace, taking it into the end zone. And at this point, the game is technically over. When you're playing for money, if you're up 21 and you get a stop and you have possession of the ball uh that's game over you know you just quit out the game but you know me and mr forrest gump we decided to just finish it out so you guys can have some a full gameplay to look at but uh yeah so now that this game's wrapped up i'm working on a running scheme that you guys can see in uh this game right here you guys have been asking for some running stuff some ground game you know chappy you never run the ball stuff like that so you know, I'm trying to trying to get back, man. I'm trying to make a maybe an E-pop two or something like that. I don't even know, but uh, definitely, definitely having some success on the ground game. Labbed pretty much every run that's in the game, figuring out which ones are effective. You know, which motions to do, which way to block the line, all that good nonsense right there, and definitely paying off for us. Definitely learning a lot. And finally realizing that you can have a ground game on this Madden 13. Don't let the Infinity Engine scare you. You just have to keep going at it. Keep pushing. It might not be insane gains every time. But, you know, if you can consistently move that ball and really make them focus on locking up the run, it can pay off greatly and tremendously for you as it did in this game for us man big ben only throwing the ball nine times with the perfect qb passer rating man you'll take that all day every day and uh the defense locked up on alex smith so that was the real big difference in this game and mendenhall you know workhorse big ben taking a few runs and rainy you know having a few runs himself so i hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay till the next time enjoy monday night football y'all peace